Today we are going to explore the basics overview and history of CERN, different types of particle accelerators and decelerators in general. Finally, the meaning of Lord Shiv's statue in his Nataraja form at CERN. Basic Overview and History of CERN CERN, also called the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is an international scientific organization that works on big science projects. CERN has become the world's largest and most renowned particle physics research facility. CERN was established in 1954 by 12 European countries with the goal of promoting scientific collaboration in nuclear physics research and is located near Geneva, a city that sits on the border between France and Switzerland. Right now, CERN has 24 member countries that are part of it and help fund its work. On September 29, 1954, 12 countries from Western Europe ratified a convention known as the CERN Convention. This agreement marked the establishment of CERN, which initially stood for European Council for Nuclear Research. The purpose of this provisional council was to build a research laboratory. In its early years, the council operated at the University of Copenhagen under the guidance of Niels Bohr. Eventually, CERN moved to its present location in Geneva. Although the provisional council disbanded, the acronym CERN remained as the name of the new laboratory when it officially became the European Organization for Nuclear Research in 1954. Sir Benjamin Lockspizer became the first president of CERN. During its initial phase, Eduardo Amaldi served as the general secretary while operations were still being set up. The first director general, Felix Bloch, was appointed in 1954. Initially, the laboratory focused on studying atomic nuclei, but it quickly shifted its focus to high-energy physics. This branch of science involves examining how tiny particles interact with each other. Purpose of CERN the primary role of CERN is to supply the necessary particle accelerators and infrastructure required for conducting research in the field of high-energy physics. The main purpose of CERN is to conduct research and investigations in the field of particle physics. By using powerful particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, CERN recreates conditions similar to those that existed shortly after the Big Bang. This allows scientists to observe and analyze the behavior of particles at extremely high energies. Through these experiments, CERN aims to uncover new particles, study their properties, and investigate the fundamental forces and particles that make up the universe. Additionally, CERN serves as a global hub for scientific collaboration, bringing together scientists from around the world to work together on ambitious projects. Particle Accelerators and Decelerators at CERN Within its expansive infrastructure, CERN manages a network consisting of seven accelerators, two decelerators, and several supplementary smaller accelerators. Each component in this chain serves to progressively increases the energy of particle beams, facilitating their transfer to experiments. Conversely, the decelerators naturally reduce the energy of particle beams before delivering them to experiments or additional accelerators, decelerators. Before going to different kinds of accelerators and decelerators at CERN and let's first understand what is particle accelerators and decelerators think of particle accelerators as incredibly powerful speed boosters for particles they work by taking tiny particles such as protons or electrons and accelerating them to incredibly high speeds it's like giving these particles a tremendous energy kick scientists then use these high energy particles to conduct experiments and explore how they interact with each other on the other hand decelerators do the opposite Instead of increasing the speed and energy of particles, they slow them down. Decelerators are essential for studying particles that have the opposite charge of regular matter, such as antimatter. By slowing down these antiparticles, scientists can capture and study them before they annihilate upon contact with normal matter. This helps us understand the unique properties of antimatter and why it's so rare in our universe. Different types of particles accelerators in general. One type of particle accelerator is the linear accelerator or LINAC for short. As the name suggests, a linear accelerator accelerates particles in a straight line using electromagnetic fields. It functions much like a powerful electric field that pushes particles forward, giving them a significant energy boost. Linear accelerators are often used in medical applications for cancer treatment, where high-energy particles are directed at tumors to destroy cancer cells while minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissues. Another type of accelerator is the circular accelerator, which includes devices like synchrotrons and cyclotrons. These machines use strong magnetic fields to steer particles in circular paths, gradually increasing their speed with each revolution. 
circular accelerators are particularly useful for studying particles at higher energies. They are employed in various research fields, including particle physics, material science, and medical imaging. Synchrotrons, for example, produce intense beams of X-rays that enable detailed analysis of the atomic and molecular structure of materials. Different types of particles the accelerators in general. When it comes to particle deaccelerators, the methods used are more diverse and can vary depending on the specific particles and energy ranges involved. However, there are generally three primary types of particle deaccelerators. Non-resonant deaccelerators slow down particles using decelerating electric fields. These fields are applied continuously, gradually reducing the kinetic energy of the particles. Examples of non-resonant deaccelerators include radio frequency quadrupole decelerators and traveling wave decelerators. Resonant deaccelerators employ electromagnetic fields that are synchronized with the particle's natural oscillation frequency. By timing the fields precisely, energy can be transferred from the particle to the decelerator, resulting in a reduction of the particle's speed. An example of a resonant deaccelerator is the radio frequency buncher. Laser-based deaccelerators use intense laser pulses to interact with charged particles, causing them to lose energy and decelerate. This technique is often employed for the deacceleration of ions or atomic beams. One example is the laser ablation technique, where a laser pulse interacts with ions in a plasma, transferring momentum and slowing down the ions. It's important to note that particle deacceleration techniques can vary significantly depending on the specific experimental requirements and the properties of the particles being deaccelerated. Researchers choose the appropriate method based on factors such as particle type, energy range, precision required, and the intended scientific investigation. Meaning of Lord Shiv's statue in his form is Nataraja. The Nataraj statue at CERN is a symbol of the cosmic dance of creation and destruction. In Hindu mythology, Nataraja is a depiction of the god Shiva as the cosmic dancer. The god, who danced the universe into existence, preserves it, and will one day destroy it, is a symbol of Shakti, or life force. The statue is made of bronze and is located on the CERN campus in Meiren, Switzerland. The statue is two meters tall and it was a gift from India to CERN in 2004 to celebrate the research center's long association with India. The statue was chosen because of the metaphor that was drawn between the cosmic dance of the Nataraj and the modern study of the cosmic dance of subatomic particles. The Shiva Nataraja statue is a remarkable creation. It beautifully captures the different aspects of Shiva's character as the one who brings the universe into existence, as the one who maintains the universe, and as the one who eventually destroys the universe. Additionally, it symbolizes the Indian belief in the unending cycle of time, where things continuously repeat and change. The plaque next to the statue explains the metaphor with quotations from physicist Fritjof Capra. Hundreds of years ago, Indian artists created visual images of dancing Shivas in a beautiful series of bronzes. In our time, physicists have used the most advanced technology to portray the patterns of the cosmic dance. The metaphor of the cosmic dance thus used unifies ancient mythology, religious art, and modern physics. In his book, The Tao of Physics, Capra further explains, the dance of Shiva symbolizes the basis of all existence. At the same time, Shiva reminds us that the manifold forms in the world are not fundamental, but illusory and ever-changing. Modern physics has shown that the rhythm of creation and destruction is not only manifest in the turn of the seasons and the birth and death of all living creatures but is also the very essence of inorganic matter. According to quantum field theory, the dance of creation and destruction is the basis of the very existence of matter. Modern physics has thus revealed that every subatomic particle not only performs an energy dance but also is an energy dance, a pulsating process of creation and destruction. For the modern physicists, then, Shiva's dance is the dance of subatomic matter, the basis of all existence and all natural phenomena. The statue is a reminder of the interconnectedness of all things and the power of the creative and destructive forces of nature. It is also a symbol of the search for knowledge and understanding, and the potential for humans to achieve great things.